what's up you guys welcome to the new video first off let me just say a huge thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel because we just hit 2,000 subscribers and that is like totally insane to me I never thought that I would have hit 2,000 subscribers and I just really from the very bottom of my heart wanted to say thank you to everybody that subscribed it means the world to me here's to 2,000 more here we go on to the video okay so today we're going to be doing the sweater weather tag by my good friend miss Blair Fowler you guys might know her you can go subscribe to her channel right here just click that little box she's super amazing and this year she added two new questions to the sweater weather tag and I just decided that this would be a good year and it's a good time to film this tag so let's go ahead and jump right into the questions okay here we go first question favorite candle scent um I would probably have to go with some kind of pumpkin spice or pumpkin pie or some kind of pumpkin candle. I guess it really hasn't changed. My opinion on candles haven't really changed. I love pumpkin anything or cinnamon. Definitely trying to get away from like the tropical smells and like lean more towards like fall scents and stuff. So probably I would have to go with some kind of pumpkin smell. Question number two, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? I'm a big tea drinker, especially since I'm from the South. We like our sweet tea here, so I'm gonna have to go with tea. But recently I've like, I've kind of been getting into coffee, but not really. Like I could maybe drink it, like if it had cinnamon or some creamer or something in there, then maybe I would drink it. But other than that, no thanks, I'll pass on coffee. Question number three, what is the best fall memory that you have? Um, my best fall memory, oh my goodness, um, it would probably have to be, before we moved into this house, we stayed at a rental house. One thing I remember is my dad, it was kind of the season where all the leaves already fell off the trees. You, you know, you just had to rake them up into a big pile and I was really little at the time and my dad raked up this ginormous pile of leaves. I'm trying to remember like every little detail and I imagine this pile of leaves literally being so huge. I don't, I don't like, I can't even fathom how big I'm thinking it was, but since I was like very little, I'm probably not thinking that's actually the size that it was. It was probably like some kind of dinky little leaf pile. And I remember jumping into it and like, I was thinking, I could totally have hid in the leaf pile and nobody would have ever found me ever. But that's probably one of my best fall memories is jumping into big leaf piles with my dad. Question number four, what's your favorite book you're reading this fall? Okay, just being honest here, I'm not that big of a reader. Um, I would probably want to start reading The Clasp by Sloan Crosley. I've actually been interested in this a while, I just like haven't got the book yet and I really really want to read it. But that just seems kind of like a nice fall book and I really wanted to get into that but I just really haven't had time so. Next question! Which makeup trend do you prefer, dark lips or winged eyeliner? Definitely not for me first of all, but on other people I probably like to see dark lips mainly because I feel like I, winged eyeliner might be a little bit too overdone kind of for this season right now. But I definitely think people that rock the dark lips or the red lips are just nailing it and you go girl you go okay so the next question question number six is the best fragrance for fall and my favorite fragrance for fall my favorite fragrance would probably be McGraw by Tim McGraw um, I think it smells so good I actually got it for a birthday present and it was my favorite cologne hands down I loved it I wore it all the time and it made me smell really good so McGraw by Tim McGraw is definitely my favorite fragrance Question number seven, favorite Thanksgiving food. My favorite Thanksgiving food would probably have to be turkey. Oh my gosh, yes, I love turkey so much. And when you put like some gravy on the turkey and then you can have some dressing and mashed potatoes and then you put, also put gravy on the mashed potatoes and then you also have a side of corn and then you got some ham with gossip and it's like really good news. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Um, turkey, hands down, Thanksgiving original turkey, just like girl, if you have turkey on Thanksgiving, invite me over, okay? Question number eight, what is autumn weather like where you live? And I love Tennessee because you really get like all four seasons. You have a really beautiful fall, a really pretty cold winter, a freaking hot summer, and a beautiful spring. And it's just, autumn is so beautiful. And we have a lot of mountains here in Tennessee. And just the other day, I was driving down the road and I noticed that I looked upon the mountain because everywhere in Tennessee, you can basically see mountains. Um, I would looked upon the mountain and leaves were changing colors. And I was like, girl, it's 
fall! And that just totally made my day, and it's so beautiful. And when all the leaves fall off the trees, after they turn their beautiful colors, it's so pretty. And my favorite part is probably, like, the snow afterwards in the winter. It's just the best thing ever. It's so pretty, you guys. Definitely, if you've never been to Tennessee, sometime in your life, you have to come here. So, question number nine. Most worn sweater. Um, probably this sweater would be my most worn sweater. Hold on, let me just do like a little show. And so, this is my sweater. It's actually very comfortable, but under all these lights, it's blazing hot, and I feel like I'm gonna have like a heat stroke or something. But it's definitely my favorite sweater. I can just throw this on with skinny jeans or, you know, toms or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It looks good. And I love the little white speckles in it. It kind of just like gives it a little boost of like kinkiness, I guess. I don't know. But I really do like the sweater. This is made by Dockers and I love Dockers. I have so many Dockers shoes and like clothes. It's just, ugh, I love this so much. Um, but yeah favorite sweater. So question number 10, I think I'm going to skip because it's must have nail polish for the fall. And I mean, I don't really, I bite my nails, so it's a bad habit and it's gross. So, ugh. but I feel like if I was going to paint my nails, I would paint them probably like a golden, like a shiny shimmery gold color, but I don't really plan on painting my nails. So I'm not going to. Question number 11, football games or jumping in leaf piles? Um, definitely football games. Oh my goodness. Duh. Um, I'm also not one for like getting very dirty and messy and wet and like sweaty and blah. So I would definitely rather be at a football game cheering my team on than outside probably in the cold getting really dirty and getting spiders all over me from jumping in leaf piles. So definitely, definitely football games. Okay. Question number 12. Skinny jeans or leggings? Why don't you answer that question? Figure it out. Ow. So question number 13, what is something that nobody knows about you? I really want to be a dancer. Something that not, probably not a lot of people know about and I really don't talk about it. Um, I kind of have like a low key passion for singing and using my voice for things. I just kind of always have wanted to be a singer and to perform and I don't know, I'm trying to make it happen and it's really difficult to think about, but I've always wanted to be a singer. If you guys want to see a singing video, let me know. I will try to make one, throw them at me. Okay, question number 14, we're almost done. Combat boots or Uggs? Um... <sighs> Timberlands. Question number 15. Is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Um, in my opinion, I do not think it's worth the hype. Um, I've only tried it one time. I feel like I'm drinking a pumpkin and I didn't really like it that much. So I'm still not like a big latte coffee person. So, so I didn't really like it that much. But, um, one thing I am loving from Starbucks is that it's like called black tea lemonade Trivana or something. And it's so good. If you guys haven't got it, go get it right now. It's the best thing ever. So question number 16, my favorite fall TV show. Um, that would probably have to be, oh my goodness. Let's see. I don't really know that many TV shows. Let's see. Um, so I'm probably going to go with skins. That's probably like my favorite TV show, but I watch it on Netflix and I can watch it anytime. And it's just so good. If you guys haven't seen skins yet, what are you doing with your life? Go watch skins on Netflix. I've seen every season. So good. I cried like five million times. So whatever. So our last question is what song gets you into the fall spirit? Recently, I got Apple Music and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that I love Apple Music and it's so handy and convenient. I'm definitely going to like stay subscribed to it. Um, but one song I'm absolutely loving is Same Old Love by Selena Gomez. Um, I think that's her newest single out right now. Some other songs that I've been loving are Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. Um, Say My Name by Odessa and Wild by Troy Sivan. And I recently heard Wild and I just fell in love with that song. I've been singing it, like telling all my friends about it. It's such a good song. Troy, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, it's an amazing song. You did an amazing job. Congratulations for all of your success and I wish you the best in the future. All right, guys, that looks like it's it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Also, I'm going to have a click to tweet link in the very top of the description. I want you guys to go and tweet this video to Blair. Blair, if you're watching this, girl, I love you. Thank you all so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart for 2,000 subscribers. And thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. You are the world to me. 
and hopefully I'll have a lot more videos soon. I know I said that last time, but this is gonna be really exciting. It's a new time for me, um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Ah!